Everything that has a beginning has an end. Only God has no beginning and no end. And as I said earlier, we had different crises in the past and were able to overcome. And whatever crisis we have in the country today, by the grace of God, we will one day overcome. And Nigeria will come to be one great country, united, prosperous, economically strong, with a political clout. And Nigeria, by the grace of God, will one day take our proper place in the Committee of Nations, will lead the Africans, will inspire the blacks all over the world. This is my prayer. And as a good Muslim, and I believe good Christians too believe in the same way, he who has faith in God does not lose hope in him. But we must work hard the youth, you, the potential leaders of the country, must make up your mind to change your attitude, to become patriotic, to emulate our founding fathers. You must be committed and dedicated to the nation. You must forget all these tribal and religious differences and come together it is not for nothing that God has brought us together, different religions, different climates, different tribes and different races. It is not for nothing. That is a purpose. God wants us to learn to live together peacefully because of the role we are going to play of leading other blacks in the world. If we are not united at home, if we don't respect one another at home, if there is no peace and stability in Nigeria, nobody outside will respect us and accept our leadership. So you, the youth, are the answer. You are the panacea to our ills. You are the solution to the problems. You are the vanguard of the revolution and the vehicles of change. You must make up your minds to love one another, to respect one another, to accommodate one another, to put the national interest above your personal interest, and to forget greed, and to be fair and just to all and sundry, irrespective of religion, tribe, or political affiliation, justice, Try to elect good leaders who have a sense of fair play and justice. Behind every trouble or crisis anywhere in the world, not only in Nigeria, is injustice. The solution is justice. Let leaders know in Nigeria and anywhere in the world, that the world can never be governed by force, never by fear, even never by power. In the end, what governs is the mind, what conquers is the spirit.